well. Third and 10, Cook goes short. Wow, bearing down like a heat-seeking missile is Trevor Wallace. Third and two, Johnson stutter steps, tries to bounce it outside, and it's... Second quarter this year. Bubnick wants to throw, pumped, in trouble now, trying to make something happen to his left, and shoved out of bounds by Walla. Carson, chase backwards again. It's pressure as Pearsall motions. ETN, boy, they had that every which way. Will throw here, and that one is picked off. Intercepted by Kentucky's Trevin Wallace. Night, this afternoon, yeah, I should say. An opportunity to really become the Heisman favorite. How about Trevin Wallace? Thanks in part to this cool customer. Not this time. All over him was Trevin Wallace. Would love to pin back and come rushing after the quarterback. They do. Marcus Dupree. A little high school running back before going on to Oklahoma. Change of direction for right, and he gets taken down in the drop eight. And the ball's intercepted. And on the return is Wallace inside. Bert took TCU to the CFP title fight. And on first down, here is Maffa trying to squeeze a yard or two. He's accounted for 120 touchdowns. He did not account for the blue wave coming. They're just trying to grind it out here as Pittman gets a carry and maybe gets a yard. This time they go to Schrader. That's a tackle for loss. Kentucky shot out of a cannon to start this. Boy, does McKinney look comfortable. So to Sloan, close to a first down, but that could be the break that the Wildcats need. Second in the conference in rushing yards, but red zone has been really their issue in terms of putting the ball in the end zone. Irons looking up top, having to step up, thrown down. And they've got Seth Davis, freshman out of Katy, Texas, his first carry, and he got that offensive line. Second and 11. Trying to get Lovett involved. He's been so quiet today. And that's a tackle for 